symbol. Get a thumping bass in there. Be a rave. Welcome back to Danger and Dice. Very dangerous. <laughs> I'm Shana. -na 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 -na. I'm PJ. I'm Aspen. I'm the DM, Jack. Now well, on to other topics. We'll it's our one year this. anniversary. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, last week, yes, we had... Murder. You saved a bunch of children. Mayhem. You managed to not get burned as a witch, Emiana. Um, more Thea. No, Thea was just killing and eating stuff. They genuinely thought Emiana was a witch. I had a unicorn. Yes, because that's really helping the whole witch thing. You took out a Pied Piper that you had named Ezzy, which is self -dis... Some people named Ezzy. It made perfect sense to I, me. I named Ezzy. <laughs> it made perfect sense to me. I'm not regretting any of that. I, I appreciated it. I appreciate I gave you inspiration for it, actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, Ezra Miller, Miller's a psycho. Yeah. <laughs> needs some therapy. He and needs apparently more... he plays Mad Pipes. Yeah. <laughs> well, he certainly has convinced a bunch of people to leave their family and end up in a farm somewhere. So <laughs> that that happened. <laughs> <laughs> and you have had another encounter with Muriel and you're finding out that she's more and more celestial. Her eyes are shining. Oh, I could have lured Ezra Miller out of that room with a child instead of a chicken. <laughs> <laughs> You already had children. What <laughs> no, they, this is a to, new one. You, it'd With have to be a child. <laughs> no, it'd have to be a child that's a little bit gender confused, so he can come out and tell them that they're they, them, and non-binary, and how they're how they're going to be one of the future people, or just someone he can brainwash. You know, just, that is true. Actually, just find one that looks closest to him. You know, encourage the narcissism. Oh, that's mm. true too. Oh boy. <laughs> And well, we saved the children. Yes. <laughs> and go you, team go. No army for us. No child army. I'm pretty sure you're going to use those children to murder everyone in the village. Some yeah, of us I will. was. Hugh was going to Again, use them. Not regretting any of us. <laughs> hey, he has a. Uh... Are there any wells around? <laughs> yes, there was a well. There was. I had so many plans, but yes, we weren't allowed to go back. They were to derailed. Town. <laughs> it's and... like they knew what was going to happen. I've, By I've, they, I mean the certain... You mean God? Omniscient one <laughs> in know, the sky. You know, my Facebook memory just popped up recently of Jack com coming on that, like, you know, I don't have a plan for when one of my characters decides they want to find a well <laughs> and poison it. I was like, oh, the memories, and we just did it again. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I tried to do it again. again. Yeah, I, I've DM'd this before, <laughs> and this time it, was, it wasn't... Uh, I'm prepared. It wasn't Shanna that was poisoning a well for once. I know. I said some of us. <laughs> some of us. Uh, and the next door is open. You went to step through it, and that's where we ended. Yes, so we don't even know what's uh, on the other side. Are we traveling through the door sort of like uh, the entrance to a 80s Doctor Who episode? No. What do we see, DM? Paint us a picture with your words. The first thing you notice isn't something visual. It's It seemed like an almost absolute absence of sound. Oh, I hate this already. And as, as the glow fades... This does not fades, sound like an absence of sound. There's sound being made. As the glow fades from this translocation, teleportation, however you want to describe going through this door, you're standing in... It's stone. That place stone between wall. places? It's pretty intense. Pretty intense. <laughs> um, it's a large... No one gets that reference except for us, but it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Uh, it's a fairly large room, and it's made out of... Uh, stone. It's what type of stone? It's just a standard gray stone. It's not like, it's not in any way designed to be made fancy. Uh, Is there any any stone in your geology textbooks that was called standard gray stone? Um, Ed, lick it. If your mouth gets foamy, it's soapstone. Uh, Is that true? Not quite. Well, it's soapy. No, soapstone is actually. No, uh, if, you, if you want, <laughs> could you please be serious for one? Second if you want go? to go into the geology oh, good, side you of can stuff. hear me. It's kind of hard to hear in here. I wasn't it's a, sure. It's a it's a pretty standard uh, sandstone, but it's fairly fine grained. <laughs> you want to? You, you sure? Yes, have soap I did. Stone? I mean, but the one thing you notice is that there are 
rows of wooden benches all facing towards the far wall. Yes. Where church. Is. We're in an amphitheater? Church? Amphitheater? It's... Oh, God, it's a Greek tragedy. It's not an amphitheater because they are lined up. They're not um, put into an arc. They're lined up. It is. It looks like a cathedral, yes. Mm-hmm. And it's not very adorned, but you get the feeling of it feeling like a very sacred place. You would say, you know, this is a church. This is a not heavily used, but it's a church. It's not. You get that feeling when you go into a church that's not it derelict. <gasps> are there? Holy. Are there? Oh, oh, what was the what was the name of that uh, cult we keep running into for multiple campaigns? We just had it. Mm. No, Vil Villem. Yes. Are there? <laughs> is there? Are there certain symbols on the wall? Uh, go Is ahead and do a religion check. Oh. Rylior. That's a plus zero for me. Rylior. 17. That's better than me. 10. Am I doing religion check? I like how the cleric does not have religion. That makes me smile. Plus four. Dirty 20. Okay. Is that not high enough? He's oh, no, no. I, it was not the person I expected to get this. I have a plus four for religion because <laughs> no, 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 I'm that's, a religious person. That's, no, no, no. <laughs> I'm looking I, for Rylior. I, I have a question. <laughs> what languages do you speak? Two. I only speak. Uh, oh, I speak three: common, celestial, and dwarvish. Okay. Obviously celestial. Yes. So. You Obviously. D- it's a symbol you don't recognize, but because it has consummate V's. <laughs> no. Give me a second. I will actually. It should you. have. You failed. All right. While you're looking up that symbol, I poof into existence um, an organ. And I put on stomach, and I put on a half mask, and you hear, it It is a stomach and some type of bagpipe or something. (laughs) It is vaguely star. I pull out a masquerade mask. The it's a it's an eight pointed star, but the north and south uh, tines are much longer than the others. (gasps) It's Jesus. It's Riley Orr. And next to it is also a crescent moon. Um, you you get that this is an ancient god and one that's not worshipped on your planet. Which one's on the left? Um, it's actually more like the star is up. higher up and slightly to the right. This this moon is slightly lower to the left, as okay. if it was like a. If you've ever seen the old heraldry where you have like the yeah. quadrants and you have one in the upper and one in the lower. Yep, yep. It's like gotcha. that. Um, you don't know who the god is. You know that it's not one that's worshipped anymore, but it's definitely ancient. One of you. Is there an altar? It's at the far end. You, can, you can't really make it out. It almost seems kind of hazy. Oh, so I can't walk up there? You can. But before that, one of you starts feeling a weird kind of stirring kind of deep in a part of your soul. Edvard. I, I feel something stirring within Maybe me. Maybe you're going to be a better person. Did you lick the stone? <laughs> Stop with the stone. <laughs> um, Why are you shaking part still? of your very, your heritage is, it, it seems drawn to these symbols. Oh, okay. I think I'm vibing with my dark family. Mm. Not quite. Is oh? Not the dark side of your family, just the elven side of you. Which is dark elves. Well, yeah, it's a little more complicated than that, but just being elven in general. This is actually the symbol of one of... But it's this actually is Ed, the, so Ed's understanding. Oh, that's true. Would interpret it. I was being in character. It's, like, it's the dark part of me. It's actually... I literally wrote down, Ed is vibing with the elven side here in my yes. notes. That's what I wrote. Um, you were correct, it's actually an Ed ancient is Buckethead, so... It, yeah, it, Ed is Buckethead. That's fair. Uh, it's actually a symbol of Corlon Lorethian, which is not worshipped by you guys anymore. He is the prime god of the elves. I have to beat God up? Uh, n- if I beat a God up, do I not exist anymore? But wait, um, we know that Muriel, Muriel is an elf, right? Yes. So she's one of them. It's okay. Mm-hmm. All right. I would like to walk up to the altar. Okay. Um, the altar is surprisingly less adorned than you would think, with the exception of a well-enameled, um, this holy symbol, these holy symbols. Like, enameled ones on the front, there's very little other thing other than, like, a candle. Like, a candle holder on it. I get down on my knees, and I simply say, Daddy? Mommy? And that's it. That's all I got. Because I'm half angel. (laughs) Are you there, Daddy? It's me. 
So I'd like to say Whatever you guys do, I am praying in front of the altar going, Mommy, okay. Daddy. Okay, so you're, uh, Edward. Mommy. Edward, how loud are you going to say? Is it going to be like kind of above a whisper or are you going to like kind of yell it like you're looking for somebody? Hello? And this is an elven. So you guys don't, okay, so Hugh and Emion, neither of you speak Elvish, no. right? No. Okay, so you don't know what she's saying? He is saying, sorry. I Thank can you. read Elvish. Oh, you can read Elvish? I can read Elvish. That's really oddly specific. That is very oddly specific. <laughs> What's something you you gained? That it was, was, it was one of my gained. traits, yeah. 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 Um, so, uh, wait, if that comes from your favorite enemy, you also can speak it then, too. Oh, cool. I can I can speak Elvish. Yes. So you, you, <laughs> I'm so I, I, I want to leave him at, like, he can write Elvish. Yeah. He just can't say it, you know? <laughs> A lot of us have that issue. We have trouble <laughs> speaking the language. We can read it, no problem. Yeah. You know? Actually, I get that. I really yeah. Yes. Oral test versus paper test yeah. is hard. Exactly. So, as you're yelling this, Edvard, you do actually hear a voice, and behind the altar to your right is a small door. Like, in a normal church, this would probably be like a little, um, almost like the priest's, like, office kind of area. Mm-hmm. Usually back and behind where mm-hmm. you hear someone saying, again, responding in Elvish, so, Emiana, you have no idea what they're saying. I'm talking to mom and dad. I'm yeah. calling for my family. Hugh and Edvard, you hear, have you come to pray to Coralon? Coraline creeps me out. I hate that he took uh, my line. What's up with the button eyes? Wait, I'm, I'm gonna say yes. I like, rolled a twelve for persuasion. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see how this goes. Uh he believes <laughs> you for the time being. <laughs> yes. No. No donations are necessary. Mom. Dad. But you hear like a. Who are you talking to? <laughs> you you hear like a very simple like sound like. He like hit something, and oh, wait, along wait, the wait. Back. Now, and then you hear now, someone go. Now Whoo. Edvard, <laughs> Edvard's starting to get excited now. Um, you you actually like <laughs> on little rollers. The curtains pull back, and you see. It speeds uh, up. I think my perception should get advantage. Fair, uh, but behind the altar was just like a curtain backdrop. <laughs> they actually pull back, and you actually see four stained glass windows of these heroic looking elven figures. Mom and Daddy answered. Yay! There's, yes. Kneel in supplication yes. before Corlon and his she already his is mighty so. heroes. <laughs> okay, I kneel. <laughs> Edward, are you going to kneel? Uh, I'd like to perceive. Okay, do a perception check. What's advantage? I'm gonna do that while sure. kneeling because I'm excited by sounds of. Oh ah! God. <laughs> Eighteen. <laughs> oh, okay. No, Pl- uh, fifteen. Not terrible. That plus six I'm helped. I'm so confused. Do they? But do you think my parents, who are celestial, would they want me to do some kind of a sacrifice? Because I can make dinner for them, but I don't feel comfortable killing an animal. Turn How, into a burnt offering of bread. However, this is like not a real world. So if I bring a unicorn into being and I kill it, it I mean, it's not real. While while Emiana's having this this ethical conversation, ethical conversation. Edvard, you realize as you're looking at these stained glass murals, Mm -hmm. they're not really murals. Yeah. They're, they're, uh, you, it's very, very almost imperceptible. You do see them move slightly Mm -hmm. and not like, oh, there's wind against the glass. Like they're moving slightly on the pane of glass. Okay. uh, I'd like to do something. Go ahead. Uh, I would like to uh, throw Sir Bonky Bonk and 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 break one of these windows. Okay, roll me an attack. Do you think they like eggs Benedict? And what do Make I do through that number? Make some for me if you do. Uh, what do add, I add my attack this, bonus? My parents come first. The, uh, your strength based <laughs> attack bonus. So it'd be which one? Strength plus your. <laughs> so it would be. That explains how you got here. Plus three. So add four to that for your to hit roll. Uh, Hugh, 19. We church. Could okay, it's going to hit. Now roll me damage, which is a D4 plus one for you. Keep your dirty thoughts to yourself. We were at church. Which one do you pick? The first one of. Uh, they're all fairly androgynous looking. The first one the is third. holding a. So- okay. This one is holding what appears to be a star shaped mace. Just have to stick some of the stone in my mouth, I guess, for what I said. Yeah, wash your yeah. mouth out with stone. Okay, Do so... Do I add anything to it, or is that that Plus it? one. Okay, so three. Uh, yeah, as it hits, you hear like a... Like a... It should... You would expect glass to shatter, but it doesn't. It hits something... It's glass, but it's fairly solid. 
And these four stained glass appearances separate. They are, in fact, stained glass golems. Mm. Hmm. And, um, welcome, welcome to the first combat. There nope. are. All right. Okay, uh, mommy, go. daddy. How's your uh, hit points? There. You. Uh, not bad, actually. Okay, because. 34. Yeah. So are we rolling for initiative? Yes, yeah. more. Boom! Swing low, right sweet chariot, oh. humming for to carry me that Apparently home. does like you guys, because it did not roll Swing high low, for the initiative low, roll. Hey, finish line. Hey, she's... Oh, she's a base. She's a base. She's a base. <laughs> I got an eight. What do you know? A Druish princess. <laughs> Four. Twelve. Wow. Funny. Now, do they look anything like fences? Druish. <laughs> fences. No, they look like uh, stained glass elves. There are lots of benches, though. Mm, there are a lot of I've benches. I've taken out some benches in my time. Maybe you could take out benches and throw them at them. Yeah, it's been yeah. a while. There, there are quite a few benches, like, probably ten feet behind you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So. I could recreate one of my more famous moves and suplex one into a bench. I I go. loved that move. That was great, considering he had so little health, you just auto-killed him. Yep. It was beautiful. So, good news, bad news. Maybe it's because you initiated the combat that the first one that you hit, number C, the one with a star-shaped mace. Yes. Eh, number C. Letter C. <laughs> I said number three. Hey, we're the C men. Uh, <laughs> we're classy. It's very nice, I think. Oy vey. <laughs> Yeah, and you, 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 you're unarmed. He's been disarmed. Huh? Uh. Anyway, he's going to be the first one to move. He will go straight up to the person who threw something at him. Say I'm the closest. I'm still on my knees praying. Uh, I'm praying right next to you. So. Oh. <laughs> he, no, no. He has decided that the person who's going to get hurt is going to be... Ed? Yup. And he they had get... it coming. He had, he had it, it coming, coming because he threw an axe at the wall today. No, not so. the wall. I'm not the wall. All and all, he's just a. Let's see. Well, does a 14 break your AC? No. Uh, it ineffectually swings at you and does not do and does not hit you. Okay. That's what you but. Mean. Um, it is going to use its other ability, which is a dazzling light. Ooh. Um, Q, make a constitution saving throw. Oh, crap. As multicolor, as this ball of multicolored light starts flashing in near your face. Ooh. Constitution. Why do I have trans stone next oh, to Oh, you have the transmuter stone, which means you have, uh, what's I that mean? It. Uh, no, you ended up handing it to him, apparently. Yeah. Uh, that means you can add your uh, proficiency bonus to any yeah. constitution saving throws. Question. <clears throat> right, okay. Uh, where it says re you regain use of a class or racial feature that you're charged okay. on a short west, yeah. would that include possibly getting one spell slot back? Uh, that is one of the other options. You regain one first level spell slot is one of the other options. Uh, I didn't want a first level spell slot. That's what you get is first level. The other option would be your uh, channel divinity. Do you roll terribly? What did you get? I got a six. Remember, during battle, you can make when uh, the wood doesn't hit, hit. That's a, that's for a hit. That's for an attack. Uh, no, there's no. one for oh, saving for, throws. You oh, may have an, yeah, it's oh. a, you can choose to succeed on a saving throw. I succeed the saving throw. You are not blinded. <laughs> by the light. <laughs> blinded by the... A lot of references tonight. Ripped up like a douche. That's what they say. It's actually a deuce. Change and my mind. I know, it's a right? deuce and it's a motorcycle. It's, told, it's told. Nope. So I don't know why they're talking about revving up a douche, but listen, some people are just douchey. Oh god. So, um the first one went. Next up is the one that was the farthest to the right. It all the weapons appear like 
you know, this one looks like it's carrying like a war hammer, but you realize that as it swings, it's completely flat, like a long sword anyway. Interesting. Makes because sense. they're, ma- they're it's literally, glass. It's literally glass, it's just yeah. stained glass, so it's flat. Um, it is actually going to, let's do the one, two, three, four. Who's getting hit in the face? We're going to hurt Thea. Thea. How does she feel about this place? Thea is not that far behind you because, she's, and that is yeah. who it's going to target. Oh, Thea. You're not wanna... targeting me because I was praying. Oh, well, Thea's getting hit. Oh, no. Ooh. Let's see. As she flies. Ah. <laughs> so, short version is it. <laughs> short version. <laughs> Thea. He made the Oh, joke. no, I got it. Let's see. Because <laughs> she's short. You can stop now. <laughs> That's, that is eight slashing damage, and I have to roll two dice now. It does el- no. It does elemental damage randomly, and it is going to be five points of two ice damage. Oh. Ouch! My oh, she's baby. gonna get hungry. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Show me that egg's Benedict. So uh, Thea, Thea took glass. a real it's solid fine. hit there. I'm sorry. Behind the altar, do we have some bread and wine? <laughs> I'm asking for a friend. <laughs> Literally need them. Yes. Uh, no, no, no. All there was a single candle. Yeah, she need that too. Yeah. She probably would. Yes. Paint like a hot dog. She's Beeswax. Fine. Oh God. Now I really want honey. Next up is going to be Hugh. Yes. Uh, the one closest to me. Uh. Whichever one that may like the one that hit Ed. Oh, that'd be number C. Okay. Letter C. Letter. <laughs> he said it again. <laughs> All right, yes, I did. Alright, I'm gonna um swing at that one with my great axe, and since I'm kneeling, I'm gonna go for its legs. Okay. What are you hitting it with? My great axe. Okay, go ahead. Swing. Really nifty axe. Oh, shit. But the place of language. No. It just started. Got twelve. Uh that does not break its AC. Yeah, I figured. Uh I'm gonna try again. Okay. Haha. Tw- dirty 20. That's definitely going to hit. All right. 10. That is definitely solid damage. Eh, it's going it's going to get hurt. Uh anything else on your turn? Um I stand up all the way. Oh, are, are you planning on using that at some point? Yeah, I probably should. I on target. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, You're doing great. Yep. It's been a it's been a day. It's been, it's a, been, a, day. It's been a day. It's been a day. Next up is Thea. Thea did not like getting hit. Uh, yeah. What? what? Thea also doesn't. I th- I think Thea is going to say um, she needs to heal. She needs to heal, and she does not like this thing that's in front of her. My poor baby. Is she gonna necromance? Yes. Vampire she, touch it. She like she it. is going to uh, yeah. give it a. Vampires all are all about necromance. Mm-hmm. I. <sighs> I just can't. That's a classic. Well, she's going to first try to make the attack. Uh, yeah, she's gonna hit. Yay! Okay. Go see ya. Go see ya. And the damage is 3d6 necrotic. Eat its flesh. Not ideal. Seven points of damage. And that allows her to heal. Next up is going to be Emiana. Yes. Um, I would like to remind everybody at this point, it's very important, that if you are within 10 feet of me, you have an aura of protection and an aura of warding. Don't what does this that. mean? Protection uh, means you add a plus four to all of your saving throws, which wouldn't have helped you before, but just letting you know. Actually, it would have. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. No retcon Remember there. Um, but anyway, also the aura of warding will help you. It gives you resistance to damage from spells. Nice. None of these are spells, unfortunately. I'm just saying. I know. She's giving the facts. Yes, you. I have a holy. Aura Although I am going to say that. Because your aura of protection is supposed to limit the effect of spells, it is going to slightly weaken its regenerative abilities. Whatever that means. Uh, they regenerate, and technically, they there is another thing for their regeneration. But now, because they're within your aura, the only thing that happens is they regenerate, the other thing will not activate. Okay. Whatever if, that means. Uh, as that means they're not going to heal as much. I like that. I was going to say, do you remember, have you looked at the troll stat block, their regeneration? Yeah. 
where if they don't take fire damage or acid damage at zero health, they still come back to life. Yep. So it's getting rid of that part of it, but they still regenerate. They just, when they hit zero, they hit zero. All right. Well, then I am going to cast Branding Smite. Okay. Okay. And I am going to to hit them with cast iron skillet or my... (laughs) I just watched Tangled. I'm gonna, so I'm I, gonna I'm, tell I'm, you a I'm little bit of a thing here. Iron because it, your aura is affected, what's happening? Because they're made out of glass, they regenerate because they're golems. But if they get hit by either thunder or bludgeoning damage in their turn, they don't regenerate that turn. Doesn't branding? Does that cover that? Your no, no, no. That's, that's radiant fine. damage. No, no, no. But there is a weapon you have that's bludgeoning. It's a yeah, frying yeah. pan. Frying pan. Well, I was, I was gonna use that anyway yeah. because it's kind of fun. I was planning on making them dinner as we were discussing. <laughs> yes. While you're doing things, you're like, should I make them big eggs Yes. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to use that, and I'm going to attack attack. just realized that you guys don't have a lot of bludgeoning weapons or a lot of thunder damage. Don't. How much right. do they regenerate each turn? 10. Sweet bludgeoning damage? 23. Okay. Does that hit? Oh, uh, that's definitely going to hit. I smacky smack. Which one are you aiming for? Whatever one's closest. You decide. Uh, probably three, then. Okay, seven plus five is 13 points. That has a plan. Ouch. Okay. That's going to hurt. So that's the first attack, because the Brennan's Might only does it once, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, and it's a second level spell, but can I upcast that to third level if one time third. because of this? Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yes. I don't have a third level spell slot, but I can do that with yes. the... Yes. And that does extra damage. The Branding Spite does... I think it's just one extra D6. Yes. Okay. I don't know. Just it would be it would be an extra D6. Oh, he rolled a nat 20. <laughs> All right. A critical hits on a 19 or 20, so that means I take an extra D- 3D6 fire damage when I roll this. So uh, Start rolling. Yep. So first off, I'm going to do my D8. There's 13 points. And then now I get to do 3d6s. Ouch. 5, 9, 13 points there. And now my branding smite. Uh, Your branding smite does not activate because I as it. you crack it, 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 something about the way your pan I, heated I up, like, it I just. Like this. Thank it, you, Dean. As soon as it catches, it just shatters back in like a spray of glass. I will save that spell slot. Yep, your spell slot does not activate because it did not activate. Can I have a free action really fast to what? speak? Yes. That one wasn't my daddy. <laughs> I don't think any of them are. <laughs> they're, they're glass. I swear, if she starts asking who's your daddy by the end of this, I am going to be very <laughs> concerned. and very. Well, I guess her heard me, who's your mommy, and I don't want to think about any of this. I need That's therapy. That's all I got. I'm done. I need therapy. Okay, you still have your second attack and you still have movement. Oh, no, you do your no, second attack. No, I did my okay. second attack, yep. Okay, is, so. Is it my turn? I want to stay close to my friends. They all have my protection. Yep. So I'm staying, like, right in the middle of my my group of friends. Edward. So I will not cast okay, Are any two of the uh, golems within a five feet of each other? Yep, because they literally just separate. C or D? C. Okay, I'm yeah, attacking. Because he's a fake seaman. C? Yes. yes. Get out of our group. A, a and B you. are right next to each other. Yeah, they're I'm still going to uh, cast Inflict Wounds. At a spell level of third level. Okay. Make two separate spell attacks. You have to go up to them. And uh, I also want to use Channel Divinity. Hit first and then deal with the Channel Divinity. It's going to hit. Roll the second one because they're two separate attacks. Okay. The second one is not going to hit. The first one will hit. (laughs) I will make it hit. Okay. Make it so. Okay. So it is hitting. So they each one is getting five d tens, plus the nineteen. One of them is getting the nineteen, but okay. they're both getting five d ten. Okay, so the first one is going to take 11, 13, 16, 21 points of necrotic damage. That's it. Plus, uh, that is that the one that you want to take the extra nineteen? Uh, can I wait till I roll the second yep. one? Do it. No. Do it. Eight. What? <laughs> Two. And 27 for that one. So. I'm going to tell you if you use it on that one, it'll die. Yep. That's kind of what I thought. B is destroyed outright. Woo! Cool. So that is two of them out. And because it's still in her aura, I'm going to say that its regen does not activate cool. to bring it back to life. Uh, next up is uh, <laughs> the one that you hit but did not kill. Is it dead? Oh. <laughs> The dead one. The other <laughs> one. I thought I hit C. Oh, no. C was already destroyed. You I destroyed killed, Yeah, but that's C. the one I... Oh, okay. I okay. killed the A fate. is the oh, one yeah, that's still alive. Well, I've hit uh, two. Yes. It's the V one I hit. 
Uh, the one that you did not destroy is what I did. Okay. Uh, he is not happy at you. I, I would think not. He's going to take some swingy swings with his sword. Ha <laughs> <laughs> One's hitting. Uh, let's see. Bring it. Does a 19 hit? Yes. The other one does not. But let's see how much damage you take. Six points of slashing damage. Harder, daddy. And you're going to take three points of... Is, is that one my daddy? Radiant he's a, damage. He's a daddy. So what were the two types of damage? Six points of slashing, three points of radiant. It's glass. I'm trying it to do math. Daddy, Nine? Right? Nine points of damage. No. Also, it is going to try to throw a dazzling blast of light at you. So roll a constitution saving throw. Add plus four. Add plus four. I got you, boo. Roll that one. Roll that one. Oh, yeah, you're fine. 17. Plus four. Plus six. Oh, wait. Oh. It's your con save, so. 19. Yeah, you're fine. You're you're not blind. Bye-bye. I ain't going to blind anybody. Just want to blind people. Maybe you'll blind me because I'm looking for my daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is going to be. <laughs> I think the DM suffered psychic damage. I'm just enjoying this too he's, much. He's in pain. As I smile in the corner, I'm like, hee hee. Uh, next up is going to be D. This is the one that is attacking Thea. It's a big old D. He is kind of a dick. He uh, got one. Uh, it's Daddy. Don't hurt Thea. Bo, well, actually, no. Her mage armor is still up, which is a nice thing. Thank so you. only one of them hits. I just picture her like getting kicked around, like flying through the air. <laughs> the end, oh. Uh yeah, she she took eleven points of damage. Oh no. She she she's feeling pain. She she hurt. This must be what pain feels like. <laughs> this isn't fair. Normally you target the big things. Yeah, I'm coming. I need someone maternal. <laughs> Hugh, it's your turn. Oh oh, actually, give me a second because I have to. And her, con- and her concentration breaks on her spell. No, oh, Thea. All right. Uh, so. It's not her day. It is not. Hugh pulls up his rifle. And he's going to cast Eye on Target on D. Okay. The big old D. And fire. Oh, that was. Uh, okay, hey, I'll take it. it. Uh, it's going to hit, I can tell you that. Yeah, that's a. <laughs> 16 plus 6, 12. I'm going to remind you, they're made out of animated glass. I'm using my advanced bullets. 2d10. Oh. Plus, plus 2. Okay. 14, 16 points damage. That's a good solid. And then I'm going to shoot again. 12 plus 6, 18. That's going to hit. Okay. 7, 11, 13. That, those are both real solid. It is it is well below half. All right. Hooray! And it's Thea's turn. She Get is him, super not jazzed about where she's at right now. Hide so behind me, sweetheart. She's going to use Misty Step. <laughs> yes, she will. And she is yeeting herself 30 feet away <laughs> behind one of the, the benches where she's basically now under half cover and is going to... Uh, it should be full cover. She's so tiny. I was going to say, I made two successful attacks in a row. <laughs> why would you talk and just... Why would you do that? I know. Don't tempt fate. I know. Uh, She's going to just go ahead and... Uh, I, th- I think she's... all die now. <laughs> she's going to cast... She's going to pick up a rock and cast no. Catapult. Can we at... turn her into boots? If... No! No, no. Dragon leather makes the best pants. Pants, Okay. I remember that. Dragon leather is very... Are you saying it's supple? Yes. <laughs> uh, I'm not okay with any of this. This is not a safe space. She just picks up <laughs> Maybe a... you'll find your daddy and he will save you. Yay, daddy. Let's see. Okay, it has to make a dexterity saving throw. How dexterous is the glass? She's also casting this at a... Uh... Level oh. 20. Oh, no, she's going to cast at a level four, and she's going to literally yeet one of the benches at it. Good for her. Yes. She's angry. Yes. So, let's see. Buy him, dragon. Uh, has to be a deck saving throw. She oh, it's definitely going to fail. Yay, bludgeoning damage. Uh, so, I need 68. Yay, Thea. 
<laughs> she she found the anger. I did a catapult and I hit it. How, do you need more? Uh, I have I 6d8s. Have. I have. I have an extra wanna, at Helix Tabletop Guild. Do a little bit of blocking. If you're in the Bloomsburg area, please visit Helix Tabletop <laughs> Guild. She does 23 points of damage, which is exactly how much it had left. Oh my so god. As a literal bench goes flying into it and literally shatters it. Um, I'm going to need uh, Hugh to make a bit of a deck saving uh -oh. throw. Uh -oh. She's just a little angry. She's, she's yeah, she, she, she's got the rage. And that is 11. Uh, did you add the plus four? Plus four. Because you're next to her. Yep. Ah, Every saving throw. 15. That's going to be enough. Mm. You manage to like, just kind of like duck to the side and none of them kind of embed in. None of the bits of glass. I am so helpful. <laughs> and Thea is just slathering like a mad woman in rage behind the oh, bench. Emiana, it is your turn. Yes. Who's left? I'm going to get him. A. Only All right. A. I'm a. going to cast Branding Spite, Smite at a level three this time. And I'm going to smack them with my glorious cast iron skillet because it works so well the first time. I'm not going to fly. I'm not going to do anything radiant damage. I'm just going to go for it because it works. 16 plus 8 is 24. That's going to hit. I didn't know. They have 14 AC. They're the only man in the class. Then I'm going to use blue one. How you roll? A four. All right. Four plus five is nine points of damage on that one. Nine points of bludgeoning and right. it cannot heal. I'm going to do it a second time. Okay. 16 plus 8 is 20. Oh, same thing again, but different die, I promise. Okay. 24. New D. I'm going to use this purple one. Never going to use it again. 1 plus 5 is <laughs> 6 points of damage for that one. And then my uh, Branding Smite at a level uh, 3. Three. Uh, do I have to make a save on this? So, hit creature with weapon that gleams with astral radiance. 2D6, or in this case 3, radiant damage makes them visible if invisible, and target sheds light in 5 foot radius. Can't be invisible until spell ends. Okay, so it just hack, uh, hacked me. Yeah, so just, just do the me. 3D6. Now, that being said, it's 2D6 at my level. I'm not sure if it's going to be... Uh, if it up casts it up, it adds 1D6. It adds 1 extra dice. Sure. Okay, here we go. 3D6. 5. Eight. Thirteen points of damage. Oh, yeah. It is so very nearly dead and it can't regenerate. What? It's not dead? No. This was the one that had the most hit points. <sighs> it is Edvard's turn, Free though. action. And it's... it's... Are you going to yell at it? Mommy? Ah! It, it can't speak and it only understands Elvin. Oh. <laughs> All I think is the baby shake. Got it? Got it? Exactly. I am going to inflict wounds... Okay, <laughs> go ahead. Inflict them wounds. And because at the beginning uh, I got a, a class feature, I got my second um, my channel second divinity. channel divinity back. So I'm not even gonna bother upcasting this and using the spell slot. I'm pretty sure if you just hit, it, you're probably gonna kill it without the channel divinity. But let's go for it. But but you know I like overkill. There you are not ah! gonna hit. It makes us proud to overkill. Do I get? Is there? No. You can you have a bonus action, but you can't use spiritual weapon because you were using a spell. No, no, no. Oh, what did so you do? I can, can I throw something? Not as an attack. What did you do? She had a failed spell. It happens oh, to all of us. Well, I was gonna say, Hugh, you should have been happy that it failed its save. It's a deck saving throw. Except not you are gonna be in the target. <laughs> Friendly fire is a thing. He would take uh, it. You actually was gonna take it whether we wanted it or not. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, it is its turn. And it's going to come after me. And Actually, it's going to come after Amiana because it hit it Say, listen, I can only do so much, guys. Like, yeah. I tried. You did a great job before. Don't worry. Okay. I'm assuming that one doesn't hit. Does a 20 hit? Oh, yeah. I'm um, sorry. No, 14. No. Okay. Neither of them hit, but give me a constitution saving throw as it blasts you with blinding light. 15. You are safe. Then right. <laughs> the light... Feels wonderful. The light is burning. The light will take me home. Hugh, it's your turn. <laughs> All right. It's wonderful. So there's just the one left, right? Yep. And, and it doesn't look warm. good, right? No. All right. It's a wonderful warm. Well, do I know that bludgeoning damage is good against these things? Does it or doesn't it? <laughs> uh, you can do a lot. You can do just like a straight int check. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> no, that's a four. Okay, uh, so I'm just, just gonna. I'm gonna keep going with my great axe then. Uh, I have a question. Yes. 
Yeah, I, I was <laughs> yeah. gonna do that. So um, I didn't forget about it this time. So I'm gonna cast Ion Target on the thing. Technically, you're just gonna switch it because it's still active. Switch it, but yes. And uh, charge it. Okay. And bring my great axe down on its face. Go ahead. My my. It's quite aggressive. Uh, uh, that's a uh, 17. It's gonna hit. Yeah. Okay. His his modifier is quite good. I don't have many modifiers. So that is a Actually, 10. I do I'm lying. Uh, solid damage. Still up. <sighs> I get frustrated and I swing sideways this time. <laughs> I get frustrated. Uh oh. That's not a good. That's not. Uh, oh, that's a fourteen. You can make a hit. If it meets, it beats. All right. I'll say because you can make make a hit too. Don't forget that. Dream. <laughs> that's, that's five. That is enough to kill it, and hey! it did take bludgeoning damage <laughs> this turn. Hey! So it does shatter. <laughs> all over the place. Uh. During all of this, uh, the door that you heard the voice coming from swings open and a rather, actually surprisingly frail looking elf is standing there in just a simple chain shirt, Dude. carrying a long sword. He yells at you and demands to know what you're doing and why you would attack the sacred guardians of Coralon. Free action. Hugh just points at Ed. Free action. Daddy? <laughs> there, this is a dream. There are no daddies here. I don't know what kind of dreams you're used to, but her dreams might have lots of daddies. Looking... Leather daddy, if you will. Look here, look here, creepy old man. <laughs> there are no daddies here. <laughs> and I like how you just threw me the, the wolves. You just pointed at me. Oh, definitely. I just followed I through. have daddy issues. I'm just looking for my father. I'm, I'm, no, 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 why, not about you. I, I'm getting asked why I did this. Why would you attack sacred symbols? It looked like my grandpa. Also, sacred symbols were moving at us. He, <laughs> in a very angry moment, I'm is... looking for my mom and my dad. I'm an angel. Look, I don't know what happened to her uh, in the past half hour but <laughs> this she's usually pretty intelligent um just We're in a special, place. <laughs> special he is going to walk right up to you three cents you know thea still hiding behind a literal bench she's doing fine yep she gets points does she get a nap no oh, and okay. he is going to with his long sword he's going to point it directly at one, two, three. This should be free. Hugh, apparently, since you were right there, he's going to basically rest the tip of his longsword, like, right, like, at your chest. Okay. What are you doing in this sacred place, destroying the sacred icons of Coralon? He just said it was me. I flash my detective badge. <laughs> <laughs> and I say, I am detective. Been there, done that. And, uh... We are here just investigating abnormalities throughout the area. Well, if the if a sacred icon of Coralon attacked you, you're the abnormality. And you actually start seeing like like radiant energy f flowing along the t like his the sword. Mommy, Daddy, <laughs> radiant, radiance is my thing. I'm immune to it. I will ask you one last time. Why are you here? I got nothing. See, the the, the question really is, uh, why are can any, I can I cast a spell? Why are any of us yes. here? Why are any this of is. Uh, I'm gonna cast a level one spell. What if I were to tell you this is not command? Real? What if I gave the and my, my command pocket? is to look go if, away. Like if I if I just give him one thousand gold uh, pieces within the within the framework of command what does it say that they are charmed sorry uh let's see what it, it's a very specific word that i, I it's need. an enchantment that's not quite what i need to see oh that's a oh. prone. yeah this does not actually oh cool this is not considered a charm effect cool so yes you can give it a shot okay uh so i'm trying so so it has to do a wisdom, wisdom. saving throw well, it helps if I actually eat it through here. Uh, it is going to definitely fail. What is your command? 
It's only one word. You right? don't think yes. you get there that far. <laughs> <laughs> um, friend. I like this friend. Friend. I didn't say daddy. I said friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you have six seconds where he is going to see you as friendly. Yes. Get to talking to convince him to stay friendly. Who has high persuasion? Fine, I'll seduce him. I have. Go for it! A plus four for persuasion. <laughs> Hello. I have a plus five. Oh, there you go. You're doing it. Okay, 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 okay. Is that this? Yes. 17. Uh, <laughs> apparently <laughs> he... Okay, what are you saying to make him stay friendly? Um, we're just here Help as... me, Hugh. Inspire me. Seduce him. Did <laughs> you start with the seducing? <laughs> hey, I mean, hey, sometimes you that know works. what? You're a young boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. What's your, what's well, your... comparatively, as an elf, yes. <laughs> I'm going to try to seduce oh the uh, priest or whatever this is. <laughs> okay. And apparently it's, it worked because and he Mia was the one. looks away embarrassed and her face gets a little it's, red. It's not the priest's fault. It's the boy's fault. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to that you were an altar boy. I am so proud to have derailed the DM. I'm just going to sit over here. I I did not do any I did not do any of this. I asked this for is inspiration, all, thank you. you guys. <laughs> no, Come no, on, you love you it. Guys. This will be a story to remember. <laughs> I feel dirty. I do too. <laughs> I gotta get another shower. So does Ed. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're seducing him, uh that's gonna be a very separate fade to black moment here. Yes. Wait, what does that mean? <laughs> I am not in any vivid detail describing good, what good. happens between you and an old elf. Yep. <laughs> it's going to be very Greek. I don't want to see it either. It's very Greek. It's it's the old man teaching a young boy. Wow. What a narrow view of uh, romantic relationship you have. Maybe, maybe there is no actual physical contact. I mean, Ed is you just seduced centaur. <laughs> So, oh, broad so, definition. So, broad so definition. You, you seduced him. Let's just move on from this now. <laughs> does he have... Oh, he does have, have a... He has spiritual weapon. Maybe he can make a uh, spiritual uh, flagellate for you. Exactly. Okay. I don't like any of this. I also stuff. carry one with me. I know, and I, I don't like any of what just happened. Well, so what did... How did this affect things? Did we win? Did we get the point? <laughs> no, win. he's not dead. He just isn't going to attack you now. Yeah, so we get the points, right? Yay, inspiration! <laughs> uh, to talk again, to any I need dogs to, or animals for this. I need to remind you that this is the core of this right. dream. Can we have a, a little private convo over here? Wait, 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 I seduced him. C- could he be into, um, you know, not living at the end of it? Like, you Ed, know, Ed, Gaius, no. full of Gaius? Ed, put your clothes on. We have a, have to, <laughs> <laughs> we have to have a private conversation. Okay, okay, yeah. Okay, so, guys. Yeah. I don't want to be here anymore. When he falls asleep, <laughs> smother him. I like this plan. I'm going to remind this you was my plan all along. they don't sleep. When he is... Dr- he an trances, idea. but they're still semi-conscious. When he idea. is in okay. his trance, Shh. Ready? he stabs him Hi, in the Hi, what's your name? Oh, yeah, we didn't <laughs> ask him. Did we? <laughs> no, we didn't. I am Aldralon. Aldralon. Okay, well, Aldrilon, look over here, and I point to the left, and I make um, Mr. Bubblegum Pink pop up again. So while he's looking, I will get you guys so you can kill him. He's very, very busy. Uh, and, you guys want to we Caesar this guy. Okay, no, no, okay, okay. <laughs> exactly. I, I'm sorry. I was making hints. I thought someone would pick up on it. Since he no, rolled a one on that. Thea what? is going to Wait. just walk up and stab him. Since exactly, that's exactly. exactly. No, because yeah, yeah. I, I, I love how you assumed with my tendencies that I didn't just leave him tied up. He's tied down. He's easy for well, Thea to come stab. Thea's busy because he's looking up Mr. Bubblegum Pink now, so. Yes, but he was still tied she down. She also is very inefficient, so she literally does four points of damage. Yeah. He's still tied down. We had so much time. Yeah, but this does initiate combat, but you guys all get your free roll. How it actually works is you will still give me your initiative pass. That 20. 16. 18, so 17. 
Oh, this is just initiative. It's not for an attack. It's going to be, like, terrible when I actually attack. It's going to be horrible. <laughs> so we all get a free roll now to hurt him? Yeah, he doesn't get him. his first pass is what happens. Uh, I'm just going to roll now. <laughs> Thea basically initiated, so she's going to do nothing. <laughs> first up is you. Oh, okay. Uh... I rolled a 15 with my great axe. Oh, at eye on target. I'm going to cast first. Okay. Yeah, that's going to hit. All right. He's wearing a chain shirt. And oh, wait, this even is that's a new bare. initiative? Yes. Cool. Sweet. 10 plus 4, 14. Uh, what's the... Uh, quick, uh, 14 is the, the damage? Yeah. Oh, awesome. Uh, and then I do it again. Cool. That was cool. That was pretty cool. But the number was not... <laughs> That was a 10. Make sure you then you hop back away afterward, okay? 10 points of damage? No, a 10 to attack. Oh, you, yeah, no, that doesn't no, do No, no, during a first you initiative. You can make it. You can I, make I a can hit. check one thing. Oh, what okay. is at the initiative pass? What's the heal amount? Wait, what? Uh, When you start initiative, there's one for healing. Thea needs that. Oh. Desperately. You gain hit points equal to one use of a hit die. Oh, cool. Without expending a die. Without yeah. actually expending a die. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going to say that one hits. Cool. <laughs> he is slightly less dead now. <laughs> and I'm going to use that d12. Eight points of damage for the other one. Uh, Yeah, he hurts. He's hurting. Everybody He's... hurts. Sometimes. Emiana, it's your turn. It is? Oh, darn it. All right. Is everybody about no. five feet away from this thing? No. Thea's, Thea's like right against him where she stabbed him then. <laughs> You're the one kept winking to tell Thea to stab stuff. He didn't give her better directions. Again. And have we actually established that he's tied down? Yes. All right. I, I do step away then. Oh, well, no, it's unnecessary now. Well, he's distracted, but not really matter. truly tied down. Oh, okay. But it, it slows him down. He, he is slowed down yeah. for the initiative pass is what happened. I'm mm -hmm. going to cast Divine Smite. Smooch! Smooch! I'm going to tell you this, Jenna. Just swing your sword and I'm pretty sure you're going to no, kill it. No, I want to cast Divine Smite okay. as I hurt him with my cast iron skillet, not with my sword, because okay. I am feeling the confidence. I'm going to use this dice from Helix, which rolled a... Mm, this is, it's a yeah, nine. I'm scared. That's a six, actually. Listen, um... <laughs> you're going to make it hit? You're going to make it I'm going to make it hit, but I want to know, first off, here's my paper... Um, an eight, uh, no, six plus eight, so 14 points. So if, is a 14, if is it, it meets, it beats. So 14 is correct? Yes. I'm going to do that anyway. Joke's on. I hey. explained that he's, he's barely wearing a chain I shirt. I don't know what his number was. All right. So here I go. I'm going to hurt him. I wanted a chance to hurt him. Six. 11 points of damage. He's still alive. Yes. And, you know, I'm going to use my divine smite now. I'm going to... I wanted a turn. Six more points. He's still alive. Oh. Okay, my second attack now. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted a turn. It was going to be beautiful. Dirty 20. It's going to hit. Obviously it hits. This is He's ridiculous. dead. He's got one hit point. 12 points of damage. He is super dead. Stuck him a second time. I pick his pockets. <laughs> what pockets? Yeah, we haven't done that, have we? He has a long sword. I take it. And a holy symbol of a god you do not recognize. I take it. I wanted. It's not. It's not a bad one. It's a good one. So. so well, Coralot's kind of a prick. But it's ancestral. That is true. It is very ancestral. I hand it us. off to him. To Thank end. you. Since he's collecting him anyway. Yes. Um. Yes. Yeah, so now there's an open door that he came out of, and that's so a. So it's a Coralon. Yeah. Holy uh, symbol. Uh, How do you holy spell symbol this? of Coralon. C O R O L L E. Oh, and I think Coralon. Yeah, it sounds right. Coralon Lorethian. Perception. For light. Perception numbers, where are you? I would like to per, per, do a perception check for the cathedral. If there's anything important that's there. And I rolled a 19. Um, With the shattered, well, stained glass golems and with his dead corpse, the only thing that is kind of interesting is the door that he came out of and that's about it because the rest are just benches that are kind of old well I think oh I there's should... also one bench that's cracked and shattered because it went flying across the <laughs> cathedral i think i should heal thea thea come here what does she need um i'm a doctor actually she's not doing 15 
You have it. I use my lay on hands. Okay, can I again. have some healing? How much do you need? Nine. I'm going to make good berries. <laughs> do you need any healing? No, I got my good berries because I'm going to eat them. Okay. That bumps me up to 44 out of 47. Okay, so yes, there is I a... still have a lot more points for lay on hands if you'd like some lay on hands. Because it's five times your number, which is seven, so 35 total. Mm -hmm. And I've only used 15 plus nine. Would That's you like 24, that's 11. I put my hand on your back. And I heal buddy. you for the rest of your points. Oh my god, okay. it's the butter is healed. Was that minus 47? Three. Three. <laughs> I got you, buddy. Can I walk get... through the door. In there you see, uh, like... Sitting in prayer and supplication is Muriel. Mommy? <laughs> I, you know who this is. I'm not sure I can my child, but it is always good to see of those of radiant blood. Oh, we decided that she's my aunt. That's right. I forgot. Yeah. Hello, auntie. How are you? Good. Are you free now? And she like, she waves and everything kind of like just changes around you. And you find yourself where she was standing. You're now in... It's a richly appointed bedroom with a large four-poster bed with, like, gauzy curtains. Is it my bedroom? I mean, no I, whips. I imagine that sans some of the more interesting... Um, hey, I'm visiting. I haven't had time to unpack yet. I was going to say, sans, you know, not having a St. Edward's cross, some good whips, and a good rack... It would probably be something that Ed would have, yes. Except for this is a little bit more like... No, I was asking if it was literally Ed's room. No, no, it is not. It is It is very richly appointed, but it's it's very... It's elegantly understated, but there's like a four-poster bed with like gauzy curtains. And you see, actually see Muriel like... It, you can tell that she's sleeping, but she just w is waking up on this bed. I feel kind of creepy. I don't... Um... Did Ed seduce her? She goes. Um, I don't want to kiss her awake. It feels awkward. She, she's literally awake. She goes. Well, this is as close. This is the the one step between the physical and my dream realms. So you 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 start did, feeling did, that everything is a little bit more stable. Did we do it? Are we the people of her dreams? I oh, I would never that's say so that. Sweet. And more like maybe, you, maybe like one so one fourth of us. No, I'm right here. It's me. I, I'm not sure I'd call you the people of my dream, though I thank wow. you for making sure yeah, that I wake up. Thanks. I see how it is. <laughs> and everything gets more and more solid around you, and the world is looking less and less like this rich bedroom, and more like a, well... Cellar with booze? Uh, more like a cellar, no booze, but you see... Dang it. What are a <laughs> bunch of, like... I was trying to give you a solid. One very, like... It's actually several stone slabs. And you see that there are several corpses on them on the outside. Oh. And the one in the center is where she's sitting. It's the people that she trapped in her dream. Remember, this has been 5,000 years. Their bodies, their bodies desiccated. Just their souls and mind were still in her dreams. This is your actually in the physical realm. No, I You're, got it. I'm like, oh, thank God. Because I'm like. In a mausoleum somewhere. Pretty so much. Question, it's almost like a mausoleum. Was the last dude uh, tied to a stone slab? No. <laughs> It, it, his soul is going to have a real weird conversation with Corlon when he gets there. <laughs> <laughs> Do you keep dead bodies for fun? No. Uh, when when I fell in, when I pulled them into the dream realm to trap them, we were all stuck here. They actually sealed it behind us. So you're free now? Yes. I don't understand any of this. But I'm happy for you. Now, how do I get back home? Because I have a oh. kitty cat who's waiting for me. Oh, yes, that's easy enough. <laughs> Just give me one moment. And you see, she like she sit, she like stands. If you're up. not my mom, I kind of wanna, I wanna go back. She, she like this is a mausoleum, but she goes behind like an archway that's behind where the slabs were, and she's gone for a minute or two, actually a couple of minutes, and she comes back out, and this time she's actually like wearing what would be like her regalia. Which is actually like this very ornate armor. Wow, and it's a quick change right there. It's actually she a couple of minutes, good. so not really. And <laughs> next to her is a. She has on her hip like a very elegant sword. Can I and, have that? No, it's actually bound to me. Here, she actually hands it to you. Oh, if it's bound to you, Ed's into that, not me. Uh, he, bind, he binds things. <laughs> well, you realize that. Well, one, you actually know what that actually would mean. It's actually <laughs> soul bound to her. But yes, that that is definitely a, a thing. Hugh, yes. Hugh is rubbing off on me. Yep. 
Um, mm-hmm. sen- uh, am I vaguely distantly related to her? Could could I, if I'm related, could I use it? I mean, they're, they're, well, it's usually bound to a single soul. So unless you're going to kill her and take it and rebound your soul to it, not really. She's well, still she's alive. Not, okay. Mary, are you a, like a goddess? Um, can you live in our world? Can you come visit yes. us at the? Uh, oh no, olive I I will. I live in this world. Place. I lived in this world for millennia, honestly. So you can come hang out with us at the grape place. Oh, we're. I make a fantastic grape cobbler. Do you want to come back with us? I, I'm assuming that is close to. I, I'm assuming yes. We're actually pretty close to there. Okay, because we're plainly locked, whatever that means. So, <laughs> so can we come visit us? That's. And we she, don't she, like she, plain she, like, people. We can't goes, come to you. I'm, <laughs> you got to come to us. She, she's like looking at all four of you and she's just like, this is going to be complicated. Um, I need you all to trust me for a second. Oh, she's friend zoning us. <laughs> she already <laughs> did, but she said you're not part of her dreams. Uh, that's true. She like she kind of like looks at you, and you kind of feel like talk. a presence in the back of your mind. She's basically going through your mind to figure out what's going on in this world while she's been asleep the last five thousand years. I feel violated. I Everyone, do a history is. check because we're gonna see how bad you guys have uh, remembered anything. Come on, total of forty-five. <laughs> I rolled a two. Um, we said history. Uh huh. It's a straight twelve. Two. Nineteen. Bia. Oh, yeah. 24, 19. Sorry, what was yours, Ed? 12. 12? Yeah. And yours was a 2? I got a 2. <laughs> I got a rock. I got a rock. Well, Thea is carrying it for Told you guys. You, Thea. I Thea and Hugh. How is it Thea and Hugh? Well, Thea <laughs> he makes has sense. to know things because he's Hugh. a detective. Yeah, Thea and Hugh yeah. carries it for you guys because... I'm a worldly man. <laughs> I'm just looking she, at She's like, she kind of pieced together... This has been a very unusual, since I've been, you know, sleeping, this has been very unusual. I believe I'm going to have to talk to, uh... Yeah, we killed an elder being. I'm going to have to talk to some very important people. So, I I believe... Wait, 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 she just said we were not important people. You're you're very important, and I think she means the gods and goddesses. I'm not offended, because one of those is my mom and my dad. Actually, Edvard, um, go ahead and make a... Literally knowing your job check with advantage. Uh, which? Any sort of intelligence or wisdom check. Uh, just go with, roll it. And wisdom. Add, yes, wisdom. intelligence or wisdom. Hey, the, uh, do you know how we got into that dream? Th- I'm I not, roll with advantage? Yeah. I'm not sure because things are breaking down rapidly. 21. You get that she's probably talking about your boss's 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 boss. Literally the head of Atrasar, because he's the closest thing to a... I don't have a boss's 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 boss. We're your higher fam- up than that. Your family has one. She's literally talking about the... Um, so like, yeah, the, no, it's my boss's boss. Your, Not that many bosses. It's it's, it's your It's, it's what your the DM says. You can't fight with It's her. your mother's boss's boss. I can boss. always argue with the DM. Oh my That's gosh. Fair. I believe I'm going to have to have a nice long conversation because this has been a very unusual. I'm not sure why things have happened this way. My sleep started breaking down. A lot of things are changing and that's. Is it hmm. because we killed a Cthulhu? I think the fact that there was able to be a Cthulhu is the first start of a bigger problem. I think she's right. But I do have a question. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. What is a Cthulhu? <laughs> no, she she got that from your brain. Oh, while you're there, go ahead and give me an investigation. What was the question? Well, <laughs> while she's talking, go ahead and give me an investigation check real quick. Can I want to answer the question? Oh, God. This is more familiar. Three! Seven. I must have accidentally put my bucket on. Scott. Ah! Seven. Ah! <laughs> you literally see the bodies if you want to go looking them over. <laughs> no. You're actually in Raptor. Are there what any she said. pockets to pick? Well, they, they do have stuff on them. Uh, you guys have done me a great service. While I can't pay you, if, if you wish to search these that I had trapped for for money and jewels and such, you're welcome to. But I have a greater gift if you're willing to yes, you, trust me. I, would too. I trust you. Are these guys old kings? They were very powerful people. Are so they yes. royal jewels? Don't, don't. No, we're not. We're She's not a taking... literal goddess. Could you stop it? Well, 
If you're going to go no ahead No dead and, people haggis. Uh, if you're going to... Are you going to start looting the room? One, or are you going... I well, want the present she wants to I give I want me. her present. She goes, I need you to trust me. I, I trust, trust you. All. Oh. <laughs> Okay. You see, she actually takes out her blade and goes like this real quick and slices her hand. Oh, and she sleeping. actually, she puts the blood on, on the altar she was sleeping in and draws a symbol. Oh, my. And goes over to each of you and draws a similar one on your foreheads. Meryl paints blood on us. Okay, right the uh, It almost immediately sinks Simba. in. It almost immediately sinks into your flesh. Osmosis. And disappears. Osmosis. This is the effect. You are actually infused by a small amount of her essence. What'd you get? It's all the same. Same thing. But it allows you to be a little bit more. I've been spelling her name wrong the whole time. Yes. It's Miral's Vitae. Miral has granted you a boon derived from her celestial essence. Increase one ability score of your choice by one to a maximum of 20. You gain proficiency in one language and one tool of your choice. And you choose one skill in which you have proficiency. You gain expertise with that skill, which means you choose proficiency bonus. Your proficiency bonus is doubled for any ability check you make with it. The skill you choose must be one that isn't already benefiting from a feature, such as expertise, that doubles your proficiency bonus. I will definitely have to ask the DM for guidance. <laughs> Basically, uh, yeah, it's that is something that's happening. Um, but if you are going to, while she's doing this, do you want to take a look around the room at what is left on these corpses? Oh, I thought it was like one or the other. Oh, no, no. She She's doing that. It's just, I was wondering if you were looking around. Well, then I will go talking. pick pockets because I'm good at picking pockets. Okay. Uh, give me an investigation with advantage. Oh, Anyone who wants to pick pockets. Listen, I'm terrible at the investigation thing. Okay, that's a good one. 17. Okay. You will be able to find almost everything. Hooray. That is the Let's list of the things. Pull up and I throw the treasure on the floor. All right, I got to did we give Thea money? No, you never give Thea money. She only has to steal it from other stuff. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> if do you want to read the treasure that you have looted? No, I'm I'm gonna okay. give some to Thea this time. Okay. A right. uh, bag of hold. So there, I if we split it up, we all get four hundred and fifty atros. And then there is a brass mug with a jade inlay, which is worth 250 atros. There's a box of turquoise animal figurines worth 250 atros. There is a ring of resistance. There is a ring of swimming. There is a potion of superior healing. There's a bag of holding. There's a component pouch. And there are rusted women. Rusted weapons. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so. Little women. <clears throat> really? Is there anything weird but fun for me? For Thea. There's a bag of holding. There's a ring of resistance and a ring of swimming. See, I already... What's ring of resistance? Uh, ring of resistance, uh, you equip it, you attune to it, and it gives you resistance to one type of damage based on its color. And that one's a sapphire. Which, uh, Blue. sapphire, Blue, double, um, double. if you're wondering, yes, I am makes wondering. you resistant to force damage. Force. Oh, okay, so... I don't have that resistance, but yeah. I figured you guys... I just have the idea of having a ring. Yeah. The ring of swimming uh, does not need to be attuned. It gives you a swimming speed of 40 feet. Does it does anybody... not make you breathe underwater, but it does make you swim. Question. Does anybody want either of the rings? Because I could see Ed going in for wearing two rings. Well, I figured someone would go for the bag of holding, so I'll take a ring, whatever one you guys don't want. Okay. I'll take the bag, and you take a ring. I'll take a ring of resistance because blue is cool. Oh, blue okay. is pretty. So attune to it. So I get to swim. Yep. We're, we're going to scrap the rest up and so we'll just carry them. We'll trade it back at yep. some point. Or since you now have someone who can use blacksmith supplies, you can literally reforge them into other things if you want to. Yes, I have blacksmith tools and and. Should I do maintenance tools proficiency? I mean, that's not a bad option, honestly. I, I, I gained proficiency in being able to make blacksmithy. And I already have the tools. Yes. I have maintenance tools as well. Yeah, so I mean that's not a good that's not not a bad idea since you literally have a car to work on. Exactly. I think I've I've learned how to take care of my car. Did everyone mark that they have four hundred and fifty atros added yep. on? Yep. I did not. So I now have one thousand six hundred and sixty six atros. I have more than you. All right. I have one thousand four hundred and fifty. I have more than you. 
Thea also gets four booty. Don't forget. Yeah, I, I did mark her. This is the first time I actually All gave right. it to her. He took the brass mug with the jade inlay, no surprise, because he's going to booze it up. So we gave that to Hugh. So you took the ring of resistance. I'm amazed you haven't tried to locate a cup that magically, a flask that magically refills itself. Do you want the uh. box of turquoise animal figurines? <gasps> yes! I figured you'd want those because it's adorable. That'll we give them to Thea to play with because she's a kid sometimes. I'll let her play with it. But it's yours. Turquoise. Yep, here. You can see it. Turquoise figures. It's actually worth 250 outros, but I figured you'd probably keep it for fun. As you are basically getting this surge of, you know, celestial energy and, you know, going through what is no longer needed by these long dead, you know. The power of Moreau. I was going to say long dead pricks, but sure. <laughs> pricks and prick asses. Uh, behind, like, you you see, like, Mira will go over and basically put her hand on the wall and push slightly, and, like, part of the wall slides to the side. Mm. And you see a small passage leading up. Mm. And she, she just kind of beckons you to follow. And as you come up, you realize that you start seeing light. It's basically like a spiral staircase. And when you come up, you find there an opening that you was no long, wasn't able to be seen. Is split open at the base of the statue of Mira. It's gonna come with the I knew it. Uh, I knew it was gonna be a statue. <laughs> and she looks at her and she goes, You know, I saw it in your mind, but I can honestly say your family has done a very nice job with this area. I'm well, kind of you. sad that people forgot why this area was important, but it's very, very nice. And by the way, she she is immediately enamored by the Highland cow that is wandering around oh. mildly drunk <laughs> because it got able because it still kept breaking yep. into the and <gasps> as you come out, I'm going to bring like, the cow next time. It is well past mid midday. And you. Is the cat there? Yeah, where's Sparkles? Sparkles is just like sitting on the porch, just kind of watching. But you see all the workers of the thing are freaking out, running around because you guys suddenly disappeared overnight and could not be found. And Wait, then they, they were that upset about losing me? Hey, watch this. I yes. feel so loved. Peekaboo. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and you give a poor farmhand like a near heart attack. She has duct tape. I'm a doctor. It's fine. Oh, yeah. <sighs> we uh, saved the day. Mil and Meryl's just like, I, I, I hate to impose, but would you mind if I borrow your hospitality for a few days? Because I have a yes. feeling that things are going to start resolving themselves rather quickly. And Do you want to sleep in my bedroom with me and Thea? I would like to write a children's book about a bear in a red shirt. <laughs> <laughs> I think Thea's more interested in writing a book about two bears that are sitting there, like, bench pressing all day. It came to me in my sleep. <laughs> I, I still, I think I'd rather read the book about the Swolger bears. <laughs> I'm going to Dude, write a horror bro. story about being at a, at a circus. These are all fair. No one wants to read the book I wrote. <laughs> I think a very specific audience wants to read the book you wrote. No, because then it'd be like someone else would like you know turn it into a trilogy and it'd really suck. Is, is it called Sins of My Father? Father. <laughs> <laughs> I do not want to read that. No, thank you. The Passion of the Pastor. <laughs> oh, make it stop. I can't. <laughs> I, he couldn't either. That's the reason why he was so exhausted. Ah. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> it's not a safe space. No. Open the doors and see you all. <laughs> <laughs> so what's going to happen is you're going to spend a couple of nice, lovely days. You can actually basically work on whatever hobbies you want. This will be considered downtime. If you want to try to train uh, skills or tools or work on projects that'll be happening in the meantime. Also, I, I'm i assuming at this point, because I'm pretty sure if any of you tried to attack Meryl, um, Emiana would stab you herself. I would. She's my best friend now. Um, I still think she's my mom. She's just lying to me. She is worth an insane amount of experience because you didn't kill her. Well, why would we kill her? Because I automatically assume that there's a chance that everyone will die. I would never kill her. She's my mom. I would have actually loved to have seen that fight, honestly. No. Uh, no, you guys would have all died. Why do we you wouldn't want to hurt her anyway? That is fair. Uh, another fun thing happens, because I'm pretty sure if my math is... Do we get extra credit for seducing the guy? Level up. 
But you I'm did level like, up. Oh, yeah. You are all going to be level eight for next episode, next recording. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Eight is also important. Get to level eight. It is your next uh, ASI or uh, feet. Mm -hmm. Heck yeah. I have feet. I don't need extra feet. He has two feet and they're just fine. I taught Alex to go, look at my toesies. And he pulls them out of his blankie. It's really cute. I was going to say, I think, oh I don't think anyone else takes feet other than Thea because I, I like feats because I think they're fun. Thank you all for listening on this lovely episode of Danger and Dice. I want to thank my players for running through the insane maze I've been creating for them. And surprisingly. For the past year. Yes, actually. And surprisingly, going above and beyond making it some of the most chaotic and fun I get to have. <laughs> Try to figure out what you guys do. I, 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 I am... Honored to join the chaos. I have finally done something memorable. I find it funny because Shannon's like, why would you want to attack them? I don't know. Why did you decide you're going to poison a well? Why That's did you just... when I was a rogue. I'm a very different character Besides now. poisoning Why did well you guys seems... as a group collectively decide to send Ed at the priest to seduce him? I did not. That, that was me. <laughs> yeah, that was him. I asked him for inspiration. Like I said, I have no idea what you guys are doing. So that's why I make sure everything is statted and everything Keep is ready. that I'm a part of these conversations. <laughs> I know you're not, Shanna. I generally... It's... I'm the good character for once. It's actually... <laughs> Surprisingly, Thea just does whatever she's told. And most of the time, it's Ed and Hugh coming up with really, really interesting ideas. It's mostly Hugh. I'm a good person in this one. I asked <laughs> you for interesting ideas. I made sure to say, in this one, I know my words. Yeah. Anyway. I choose my words right. Have a lovely evening, everyone. Thank you for listening and make this past year fun. Yes. Thank you to our DM for making a ridiculous storyline, which we have agree appreciated. That's yes. what we're looking for, appreciated. I am very tired. It's bedtime. Yes. So we will still see you all next. <laughs> we will see you all next time, or hear you all next time, or listen. Talk to at you guys. Talk at time. you next time. Yes. Uh, we will tickle your eardrums. Oh no, not all of us. And this is why the <laughs> this is why we sent Ed at the priest. <laughs> well, goodbye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank you for listening.